live in a fire prone area, you know the stress of clearing defensible space and having a go bag ready. Well, maybe you've even had to use it mm -hmm. in an evacuation. Now there's a new worry. Just three weeks ago, the Snell fire burned 100 acres in that area. And while residents were lucky this time, even the most prepared are now finding they're out, they're out of luck with insurers. There were some trees back here. I cleaned them all up. I mean, it's pretty actually <laughs> pretty cleared. I, you know, all the vents. Mark Amador knows you know. all about the fire risk in this community. Barry Essa Estates, with just one road in and out, has been evacuated four times in the past five years. It's, it's about a 25-minute response time for anybody to get out here. He would know he's the local fire chief, and he lives right behind the local firehouse. See but all that wasn't enough to save him from the letter. Your policy will be terminated as of the non-renewal date and time shown above. Basically, um, got a letter in the mail. And the chief's not alone. There's his next door neighbor, Robert. Yeah, so now I'm out without insurance. It was reasonable, and then they jacked it up uh, to $6,000 a year. And the insurance horror stories continue all the way up the hill where Karen Whitmore's house barely escaped the LNU fire. And when I first moved in here, I thought, I hope I'm not here to see this burn. And I watched it in real time on YouTube. You know, I worked all my life and I have a home. Whoopee. <laughs> but it's in a not safe place. As head of the local fire safe council, Gail Bickett has long advocated for safety programs like the tree removal now underway here. But she says a new concern for just about everyone in the community is the financial risk in a troubled insurance market. And that's, you know, these people are up here because they're, you know, not real wealthy. This is a retirement blue collar neighborhood. I'm on a fixed income, I'm on social security, I'm retired. The Barry Essa Highlands here, just one example of a story playing out across California, entire communities at risk of becoming uninsured, an unsustainable situation that the state and coverage providers are now fighting over in Sacramento. Really, we're, we're, I, think, I think also what people need to know is we're in, a, we're in a political showdown with the insurance industry. Consumer watchdog founder Harvey Rosenfield is talking about the debate over how insurance markets should operate as a changing climate drives increasing risk and soaring costs. Uh, uh, for people right now who are searching for an insurance company, there's something called a fair plan. It's an insurer of last resort. So we got California Fair Housing, which doesn't cover as much, but it does cover fire. I've been shopping around, but the problem is it's, it's so skyrocket. Yeah. As for Amador, he got another letter from his mortgage provider. They're planning to buy insurance for me, which is fine because I can't find insurance. I don't even want to raise my head and say, come and look at me. Do I need to be more insured? Because I'm sure they'll cancel me. I'll be afraid to. There are 183 homes in Berryessa states. Every single one of them is considered at severe risk of fire, driving up the cost of living in this quiet corner of Napa County. It's beautiful. It's peaceful. We just live in a high fire zone.